it is said that in chaturmas it is very beneficial to do some type of swadhyay and we have chosen to study to understand and to try and imbibe the principles of yoga as expounded by maharshi patanjali <coughs> in the yoga sutra <coughs> so we are in week 6 let us see what is in it for us during this today in our journey we have started and understood what yoga means and then bit by bit maharshi patanjali has taken us through different aspects in the sixth week we will be looking at we have been looking at sutras 28 to 32 so we will chant these sutras two times after which we will look at the meaning of this 32nd sutra and try to ponder over that let us begin tad japas tadartha bhavanam tata pratyak chetana adhigamopyantaraya bhavascha vyadhistyana samshaya pramadalasya virati bhranti darshana labdha bhumi katva navasthitatvani चित्त विक्षेपास्ते अपि अधिगमहा प्रमाद आलस्य अविरति दर्शन अंगमेजय श्वास प्रश्वास विक्षेप सह भुव तत्षेधार्थम एक तत्व अभ्यास लेटस हैव अ लुक एट सूत्र थर्टी टू what does this sutra tell us in the previous two sutras maharshi patanjali has told us what are the obstacles which will come in our journey he has described the main and the associating obstacles and from today from this sutra onwards over next few sutras he is going to tell us what is the solution how can we overcome what does he say tat pratishodha pratishedhartham ekatatva abhyasa tat that pratishedhartham to reverse to overcome ek one तत्व इज प्रिंसिपल अभ्यास प्रैक्टिस टू ओवरकम दैट द ऑब्स्टैकल्स विच वेर मेन्शन अबव कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन अ सिंगल ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल हैज टू बी प्रैक्टिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट अपियर्स टू बी अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग but this is very crucial 
You see, we know what abhyasa means. Abhyas is a practice which has to be done over a period of time. Satu dirga kala nairantariya satkara sevito rudabhumi. Tatra sitav yatnaha abhyasaha. So we have understood in the previous sutras what abhyasa means. Now he is qualifying what type of abhyas has to be done. He is not saying do just some abhyas. No. If you want to do prati shedhartham, reversing or overcoming this obstacle, then ekatattva abhyasaha. You take up one thing and continue and keep doing the same thing for a long period of time until you achieve mastery in it. Now, it does not mean that you have to keep doing the whole thing endlessly, mindlessly, without any purpose. In one of the books, Swami Shivanandji has mentioned, whatever sadhana we do has to have a purpose, a goal, a direction, an objective. Beyond that, the sadhana is not of help. It can be detrimental. So we need to practice whatever we are doing, but we need to maintain ekatattva abhyasa principle. Not that we are doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Swamiji used to say, Kuma khodna hai, to ek jaga mein gadha karte jana hai. If you want to dig a well, keep digging in the same place. It is of no use if you dig one foot here, one foot there, one foot there at 100 different places. You will never get water. But if you dig in the same place and go 100 feet down, sure and certain you will get water. You might not get it at 30 feet. You might not get it at 40 feet. You might not get it at 50 feet. But if you keep doing it, you will get water. Sure and certain. So in the same manner, we need to stick to one abhyas. That is what is important in the spiritual life. This marks the beginning of a set of practices by which we can overcome the difficulties, the obstacles in sadhana. And that is something which we will be studying next week. And this Sunday, we will be studying, understanding, discussing about what we have read during the week. These five sutras, I will discuss few detailed points about that. Tomorrow being Saturday, we will be having the Havan. The opportunity to combine the purifying, uplifting, transforming principle of fire to the mantras so that the practice of purification inside and outside takes place at a faster pace. Sunday, we will be having the Swadhyaya Satra and then from Monday onwards, we will have. So, let us conclude today's session. Come in a sitting position. Meditative posture, preferable. Hands on your knees in Dhyan or Chin Mudra. Eyes gently closed. Head, neck, shoulders, back. All in a straight line. Eyes and mouth closed. Bring your awareness back to the eyebrow center. Bring back the same image which you had chosen or same experience which you had chosen in the beginning of the practice. Let your mind gravitate to this experience once again. And then maintaining your awareness on this experience, 
we shall chant the mantra om three times together followed by sankalpa take in a deep breath Oh. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotirgamaya, mrityor ma brutam gamaya, sarvesham swasti bhavatu, sarvesham shantir bhavatu, sarvesham purnam bhavatu, sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Trampakam Yajamade Sugandhim Pushti Vardhana Purva Rukamiva Bandhana Mrityor Mukshiyam Amrita Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti, and some Panamudra. Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twameva Bandush Chasaka Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravinam Twameva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva. Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Ki O Have you all heard Sad? Rub your palms gently. Generate warmth in the palms. Place the palms on the closed eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to the eyes, energizing the eyes, the brain, the whole body. And then gently move the palms away, open your eyes, Hariyo, Tabsat, Namunarayan, Jai Kumbh.